Hello and welcome back, and today we're going to be doing something slightly ridiculous for the sake of science. Now, Extreme Mode is slightly laggy on this game, but we're going to do Extreme Explosions, kill my computer, and it's going to be worth it. So, let's start off with the old classic explosion in Extreme Mode. We're going to go Earth versus uh, the moon. If I can find the moon, there's the moon. Throw it into still mode. And we're now going to follow the moon on its journey to destroy the Earth. Because you know what? The Earth takes all the fame. The moon doesn't get nearly enough credit for doing cool things like the tides. You know, that sort of stuff. And now, the moon is finally getting revenge. The rush limit's kicking in, the moon is heating up, and... BANG! We've got our first hit, we're going to take this off of here and look at all the particles. Now we've got quite a big explosion here. And now all the little particles are falling down on the earth. Causing a giant mess. I'm not sure what did more damage, the original hit or all the particles falling back down because they hit a ton of tiny spots see all these little craters that are leaving but this time it seems like what did more damage was the initial impact as is pretty clear now if we speed things up a little bit you can see it's still being hit pretty hard by all these particles it's definitely not over yet but there's quite a few particles when you are in <laughs> extreme mode. Speeding things up a bit more, the bigger parts are coming back, and now more damage has actually been done by the particles that were ejected from the explosion than the initial explosion itself. And it's still continuing. These bits and pieces are falling down. They're gaining enough speed that they're actually doing a lot of damage. <laughs> So, next up, we're going to go a bit more um, equally matched. We'll do Earth versus Mars. Extreme mode. And right about now, we're going to slow down. A nice close up, turn off trails and labels. And bam! Look at that. Now that was a lot faster than the moon's collision, and uh, rightfully so. It looks like it did a lot more damage up front to the Earth. Not as many particles uh, just moving out. Most are being sucked in in the very beginning. But the result is exactly the same. Earth kind of destroyed, and a giant cloud of debris. It's a really big cloud of debris. And now let's start going a bit against Earth. Let's go Jupiter versus Earth. I'm sorry that I need to destroy the world, but it's necessary. So we're going to see because Jupiter's so big, the rush limit's kicking in already. We're clocking in at about 100 degrees, uh, 200 degrees, and this is Celsius, so the oceans are evaporating away. But they're not going to be gone before the Earth actually hits. Oh no, why barking? Let's just quickly pause. Close my door. And then charm. Don't bark. <laughs> Sorry if you can still hear Jewel. She's a little bit um rambunctious. And now, the Earth hitting Jupiter. Do 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 can see the shadow of Earth and 
Earth is now hitting. Um, let's see what happens. Now, lots of particles. They're all, they're basically all just going directly back at Jupiter. But look at what the particles, it does a lot more damage than if it was Earth alone. Earth alone only just did this tiny little circle here. But with all the particles, it's just beating Jupiter up. Look at that. Looks like it's got chicken pox or something. All the particles are making particles when they hit. And so now Jupiter has actually gotten pretty angry and um, has turned orange, as all angry people do. I, I really was about to make a Trump joke there, but then I decided against it, but... Okay, let's go on to Sphere of Moons on Extreme. This is going to be really laggy. I'm sorry, I'm just warning you guys in, in advance. This is probably going to be uh, a little bit too much, but we're still going to try it anyway. They're going to start hitting in three... Two, one, and now the majority are going to crash into each other. See, this is why I need a $9,000 graphics card. Ooh, for a second, it just looks like a ring of fire. The Pacific Ring of Fire. <laughs> all the dramatic documentaries on that. And we've got all these particles, and entire moons of course that are going to crash into earth making the earth's day kind of sad see even when it's a the simulation itself is lagging you can still kind of move around and look at it so it's not really that annoying when it's a low frame rate because you can still explore it i mean it's obviously not as smooth but you can go around and say hey look at that this is what it would look like and let's go into the- oh. Earth explode- oh my! Well, Earth has exploded and obliterated the moon along with it. Good job. Hey moon, how you doing? You're expanding a bit from all the debris. Oh man, but you're being ripped apart by this guy. We oh they throw out cool spirals. Look at that. We we it's pretty great. Okay, well that was interesting. Um I don't know what happened there. Earth exploding in eight series. Okay, let's slow this one down this time so we can actually see the effect. So Earth has exploded. The first series has been obliterated. Not completely yet, but... Okay, this one's been hit. <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one. Oh, jeez. They all die in the end. Wait, but they all have trails now, so they're going to make like a spiral thing. <laughs> Sadly, it's laggy, so I can't really... Yeah. If only there was a little bit less lag. Binary moons. Do, do, do. I wonder what the rush limit looks like. Oh, jeez. That, that's me. Oh my god. I really need to go into do not disturb mode. I'm sorry, guys. Now look at this. The moons are now conglomerating into one. Kind of just trading off uh, mass here. It's kind of like when bacteria trade genetic material. 
I don't know how I made that uh, jump from planets to bacteria, but there you go, and that's one of the ways how superbugs are made. Yay! Good job. Oh, exploding moon this time hitting Earth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Poor Earth. Earth did not deserve it. Except Earth now has rings, so it's kind of cool. Pretty rings destroying Earth. Yay. <laughs> so guys, over the summer, there's going to be a lot of videos coming out. Those of you waiting for the next City Skylines, that's coming out tomorrow. We also have the Nerdcraft Town mod pack on the Technic Launcher if you want to come play some Minecraft with us, uh, which has hit the number one trending mod pack in the world right now. I'm not even joking. It's we hit number one. And um, on top of that, we'll just be having lots of uploads. Don't forget to turn on notifications on your phone, tablet, computer to see when new videos come out because you won't want to miss any of them. And with that, I think I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't enjoy it, you know what to do. Don't be too cruel about it, though. And if you did like, don't worry. Your free bag of chips will appear very soon. Because someone actually said that their roommate gave them a cookie after I said they'd get a free cookie. So what are the chances? Actually, uh, 7,000 people watch. Or we've got a million views, so how often do people get cookies? And so I think it's about a one in um, one million chance, because only one person out of the one million viewers on this channel have actually had that happen. So you have a one one million chance to get a free cookie or a bag of chips. Really depends. It's kind of random. And if a helicopter appears on your uh, front lawn, that's for me too. Actually, any free things you get in the future are from me, including a little giveaway we have in the description for Universe Sandbox 2. Pretty sure that giveaway ends in like six days, so make sure to check it out. You have a chance to win a free copy. Or two if you're super lucky. If someone wins both copies, I'll get slightly mad because I'm not sure if the thing I'm using checks for that. But once again, thank you guys for watching and um, let's have a moment of silence for the earth. Brave through all the episodes of this series of destruction. And goodbye.